Howdy there, everybody. I am spectacular. How are you? I got this letter with some things inside from Joe. And spoiler alert, uh, he sent me some silver eagles in graded slabs, and they are all fake. I'm going to talk about these fakes, go over Joe's letter, and we're going to try to figure out how we can tell if a coin is fake that's in a slab. Because what a weird thing to do, right? So we know the Chinese fakes are out there. They're all over the place. The counterfeits are big in this hobby. It's sad because a lot of new people want to try to invest in precious metals and it makes it kind of difficult if they don't know what they're doing. And now one thing that people do is they'll buy a graded slabbed coin because they figure, hey, that's another check right there. How, you know, if, you, if I trust a company to slab the coin and grade it and authenticate it, then it's not going to be fake, right? Well, now they're making fake slabs too. And they've been doing it for a while. So Joe sent me these coins, you know, coins, and this letter right here. Hey, Speg, Happy New Year. I pray for peace and contentment for you. Enclosed are items to be destroyed. A very attentive friend of mine got very thoughtful, but didn't check the spot price and didn't realize his order total was too good to be true. One ASE was removed from the slab and put into a puzzle of a box. Very cool item. And when I got to the other four in uh, fine wrapping paper, a few flags came out ms70 with a smear a speck of dirt and the same crotch in lady liberty's dress did not meet any standards so he's staring at lady liberty's crotch kind of weird uh, <laughs> joe what's wrong with you i did the ping test with an app also um let's see uh, zero slash three bad every test and they'll weigh about 25 grams i'm not sure what he paid but for november and december these would have been under spot Scammer ran, PayPal gave him 50% back, so I want you to destroy these with a drill and retire them into your remove from circulation bucket. Um, I can definitely do that. Uh, let's see. I'm a big fan, and you may read this on camera. Oh, good. <laughs> I did it before I knew it was okay. Uh, and do test yourself and even point out the red flags of the slabs to help the public, especially those new to stacking. Uh, once I got word of this refund, I knew exactly where to dispose of these fakes. You've taught me some tricks, and I knew you will help others. Keep up the great work, and forgive me for my handwriting, regardless of being, regardless of it being a long day. Um, <laughs> uh, my handwriting's not so good either, Joe. Uh, don't worry. Uh, this actually looks a lot like what I um, write like, so uh, maybe that's why I can read it so well. Uh, anyways, thank you very much, Joe, for thinking about me and thinking about others because we're going to destroy these things for sure. Um, uh, but, man, okay. First, let's look at a couple, right? So what do we got here? We got a 2011, 2012, 13, 14, and 15 Silver Eagle. Uh, typically, that'd be pretty cool, right? Nice little setup right here. Now let's start with the 2011. Let's look at it real quick. First of all, this has a crack. That could have been shipped like that. It could have been when it shipped to me. Uh, who knows? Not necessarily meaning that, you know, that's a fake by any means. But we're going to look at these things right here. So first thing that I notice uh, when I pick this up is if you look at the label, the uh, NGC label right here, it's already peeling off. So I don't, <laughs> I haven't seen that before where the label is peeling off. Um, usually they're kind of like, it's kind of like underneath the slab a little bit like there's like a little uh, flap that comes down and around and they kind of stick the label up underneath it so it's not like a, it's just stuck like with tape or glue so this is very different um, but it says 2011 eagle one dollar ms70 so yeah okay and it has a barcode and everything so i mean to the untrained eye this would look official right and if you see these right here and you think an under spot or something like that some of them might go like oh wow this is this is great you know what a what a deal. Uh, nothing on the back either. Very interesting. So we're just looking at some normal things here. We're going to we're gonna look them over and then we're going to go over some ways to test them and uh, I might break one out here and, and uh, scratch it up and see what's actually inside of it. But you look at Liberty here and she doesn't look very good at all. First of all, the cartwheel is weird. If you look at the cartwheel, I see a cartwheel here and a cartwheel there. So like two different, two different spots 
where the light is bending in a weird way. It's almost like small cartwheels. Usually with a Silver Eagle, it will be a giant cartwheel right here and it will, you know, take up the entire coin. So the luster is kind of weird in my opinion. Uh, let me show you a good example. So here on the right hand side is a Silver Eagle that is legit. This is not fake by any means. And you can look at the cartwheel. See how it kind of goes throughout the whole coin? That line right there, that, that whitish line, that luster, it goes from left to right all the way. One big giant cartwheel. Here, you look at it and it's like two, it's hard to see because she's in the way, but there's like two mini ones. Very interesting. So the luster is wrong. The luster is wrong. Now that doesn't always mean a fake by any means, but it just means you got to look at it a little bit. Now you look at the two coins. Let me try to go a little bit more zoom here. And you can see there are some weird things going on for sure. Uh, the texture of the flag right here is much more pronounced on the fake than on the real. The real is just very subtle um, texturing right here. These right here come out quite a bit. Um, there's some rubbed spots right here on like her breast and on her arm. Uh, very unusual where these rub spots aren't here. And, and like rub spots don't mean fake either, but it definitely doesn't mean a perfect coin. MS-70 is a perfect coin. Now, you're going to tell me there's rubs and all kinds of weird stuff going on with the coin and it's going to be perfect? Makes no sense, right? So, you know, you see a lot of differences for sure. A lot of rubbing. Um, you look at the lettering. Look at the lettering here. Just take a look at the E on both coins. Look how on the fake, the E is much thinner Whereas right here on the reel, the E is much thicker. So definitely a different font going on. Um, even the lines in the sun rays are much thinner here, much thicker on the reel. Yeah, let's look at the reverse real quick. And then we'll get to some more, some more tests right here. So you look at the coin, right? Lots of dinks and scratches, all kinds of dinks and scratches actually. Now, how are you gonna give that a perfect grade? You know, if you have all these, I mean, you wouldn't even want this coin right here um, as a collectible coin for sure. I mean, you might just consider it bullion, uh, but not any kind of, you know, collectible coin that's a, of a perfect grade, an MS-70. Uh, the shield right here is all scratched up. You look at this coin right here, you don't see a whole lot on there. Maybe some dust, but it's not all scratched up and all dinked up for sure. Um, definitely some differences here. So now very interesting, whereas the font on this side was very thin, now we're going to a very thick font. In fact, it's actually even thicker than the real one on this one. So kind of, kind of different there. Huh. So uh, a lot of things going for it that makes it kind of questionable, right? A lot of things. So let me zoom back out real quick. And he said that there was all kinds of other spots on some of these. So now I got the 2015. Let's look that one over real quick. It's a shame, man. These Chinese counterfeiters just, just really, really, they're jerks. They're jerks. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a nice word to say, but they're jerks. Um, I can't stand it. Now the luster here is a little bit different. It doesn't seem like it's so much to the point where it's, uh, no, it's still that double cartwheel. You can even see one cartwheel's going this way, one cartwheel's going kind of diagonal. Uh, there's a big spot in the middle. But now milk spots don't necessarily mean it's going to be a lesser grade. But uh, yeah, they're all, they all have that kind of rubbing to them for sure. And uh, let's see. I also want to go back to the slab for a second, talk about the slab. There's some nasty detracting spots there, but that, you know, you could call that toning if you really wanted to. Yeah, they're pretty nasty. Okay, um, let's move the real one away so I don't mistake it. You know what I mean? They're so hard to tell the difference. Uh, so the slabs, let's let's put all these, see how this that is slid out like that? Like I, I almost dropped it onto the floor, but I'm gonna put all these slabs together and I want you to see a little phenomenon here. So I'm gonna just take my finger and just push them. See how they just slide off? So with the NGC slabs, one cool thing is they're very stackable when you have more than one slab. And I actually have three right here and uh, of legit, these are legit slabs from NGC. And I'm gonna try to push, push the top one. You can see when I push the top one, the whole thing goes because they kind of like lock into place. And uh, maybe you can kind of see how the, that little lip right there kind of like locks it in and they're stuck. Whereas these ones, they don't have that little lip. They don't stick into place, they're not stackable. Uh, that's, that's one big red flag for sure. 
Now let's take a legit coin from NGC and the fake coin on this side and look at the differences here. First of all, see how the lip right here kind of keeps the label inside where this one is obviously taped. So that's different. Um, the barcode, everything else looks pretty similar. Now the real one does have a holographic um, kind of like little labeling right here, but you know, the older NGC probably didn't have that holographic right there all the time. So uh, the newer ones definitely do, obviously. And this one does not have it here. But other than that, you know, the, the artwork is somewhat similar for sure. Um, little differences. This, this looks more printed, doesn't it? It has like almost like a, a pixelation to it. Look at that. Look at the, the lines right here just on the little scale. See how it just kind of looks all funky? We look at the lines on this one, and it's much different. So, uh, very interesting, very interesting. Let's scoot to the back of it. <clears throat> so the back of it actually has a hologram right here for NGC. Uh, now listen, I've actually seen these fake holograms on some of the slabs too. So don't think, oh, because it has this hologram, it must be real. You gotta look at the whole picture for sure. This one doesn't have anything that got lazy on me. Uh, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, this looks much cleaner too, the whole thing, but sometimes they do get kind of, you know, people smoke or whatnot, and they kind of get like a yellowish to them, or they're just stored in some interesting places and they get that yellowish tint to them. Doesn't necessarily mean fake, but, you know, overall, uh, overall a lot different, aren't they? I wonder if I can just pry this out. It looks like there's like a little, little lip right there. I might go just pry one out. If not, I'm going to go get the hammer to these things and uh, try to hammer one out. Oh, shoot, never mind. Okay, they just pry right out. Uh, meanwhile, let's take this right here. Let's try to pry one of these out. You're not prying this thing out of there. I don't, I don't wanna do it, but I'm showing you that no matter how much I use my man strength, I cannot get this thing pried out of there because that's, they lock them into place pretty good. So here's the coin. Uh, this is kinda, kinda flimsy. Let's take this off. Let's see what this is actually stuck on there with real quick. Uh, this is like a, a tape, so no glue or anything like that. It's just like a like a literal literal tape. Um, this is kind of kind of thin. Where these right here look like more like cardboard. These uh, labels right here. This is like very thin. Just yeah, just I don't know like label material. Okay, here is the coin in question, and uh, you know. I mean, like really from a distance, you know, if somebody just really quickly said, hey, you know, look at that silver eagle, great, right? You'd be like, yeah, cool, you know, that's sure that is a silver eagle. Uh, let me find my scale real quick because that'll tell us the weight and then we'll do some other tests real quick on it too. But I'm back, I found calipers and I found a, a little scale right here. I also found the red book. These are great, make sure, let me just show you the front of it right here. It doesn't have to be the same um, date as today. It could be in the future or in the past, right? 2016, doesn't matter so much the date as long as the coins are in there and they're the same from year after year. And the Silver Eagles for right now are until they change them here in the middle of 2021. But regardless, um, it gives us some information, which is great. It's a great reference point. If you can't find this information because you don't have a red book, go on the internet, that information is there, of course, too. But, uh, so we're talking about uh, 9993 silver and some copper that's you know not that important to us right there but the weight is one ounce of pure silver and the weight overall is 31.101 grams so let's put this bad boy over here to grams and we're going to see what we're working with let me try to get this camera on here for you um i'm set to grams so again 31.1 or so grams is what this should be little little tiny more a little tiny less won't kill us but way different is going to be a big time red flag so again, it's supposed to be 31.1. I'm at 25.7, kind of like Joe, what Joe said, you know, about 25 grams. Uh, not great, not great at all. So that's, you know, much less weight. You wouldn't want this right here because it's not an ounce of silver. I mean, if it was silver, um, it's much less. I'd call the United States Mint and be like, what are you doing to the people? But uh, don't get me wrong, this did not come from the US Mint. Let's turn that off real quick. And we're gonna go to the calipers because it also gives us the diameter here, I believe. Yes, 40.6 millimeters. So, got the handy dandy calipers. Let's go ahead and turn these on. Digital calipers. Um, I got these at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the two, probably Lowe's. So you can find these, no problem. Amazon has them, whatever the case may be. Uh, no big deal. I'm just gonna put them right there. 
and what is it supposed to be again? 40.6 millimeter. So uh, I'm a little, little shy. I'm 39. It's supposed to be 40.6. So uh, about a millimeter short, just about, you know, is that a huge red flag? Well, for a worn coin, it wouldn't be uh, too off the wall, but uh, these are not worn coins. These are supposed to be, you know, perfect MS-70 Silver Eagle. So uh, that is a red flag for sure. Turn this back off. I also have one more uh, machine. I have the Sigma Metalytics that we're going to use on these right here. And let's get this over and let's zoom this back out. Uh, this is a great machine. If you haven't seen this before, it's handy in my opinion because it just quickly tells you, you know, what something is. Um, could it be fooled? Yep, for sure. Uh, is it always perfect? Nope. Uh, but it definitely does uh, the job 99 point more than 99% of the time. You know what I mean? It does it quite often. So what I did is I went to silver triple nine pure and I'm going to push run calibrate. And what I'll do is I'll put this coin on this little green sensor. And what you would want to see is it being right in the middle of these brackets right here. If it's not in the middle of the brackets, if it's off to the right or left, uh, it's kind of a little bit more questionable. You got to do some more research on it. We've already done a few things to kind of prove it is not real, but we're going to go ahead and use this machine. So you can see the arrow, well, maybe you can see it with the light shining on it. The arrow points way off to the right. Not a good sign. Um, I would call this fake. In fact, let me show you a real one. This is that real one that I showed you earlier and put this on the machine to see what comes up. So, boom, the real one shows right in the middle. What's nice about the machine too is oftentimes you can actually go through the plastic. So um, we can actually test these right here. It's already in these, you know, graded slabs. And we can just put that right there. Again, it shows it off to the right. Let's do another one. Shows it off to the right. Another one. Again, to the right. Not so good, ladies and gentlemen. And Joe, not so good. But you already knew that, Joe. You were you were wise to it. Um, unfortunately, you know, these sellers out there, they see people that don't know enough about, you know, this kind of stuff. And they think, oh, you know, we can offer it at a discount and it'll fool some people. And oftentimes it does. Uh, apparently... I was given an email that uh, there's some Chinese sellers um, out of California and they're actually using my videos to show off silver eagles and uh, suggest that they have some that are real, which they are not. They're fake too. Uh, somebody pointed that out to me in an email. That, that's crazy. That they're actually using my videos. So be very careful. If you see like some Facebook advertisement that says, hey, you know, silver eagles for $15, but meanwhile, you know, any of the reputable websites like Atmex, um, JM Bullion, SD Bullion, Monument Metals, any of those places are selling a Silver Eagle for, you know, close to 30 bucks. Um, that should be a huge red flag. If somebody like on some local like Craigslist or some Facebook marketplace are selling them for much less too, be very careful. Be very careful unless you have a keen eye and you know what you're looking for because these are obviously fake. I mean, they're so, so crazy fake. I wonder if my knife can kind of get through one of these to see what's on the inside. Let's see. I'm going to scratch it up a little bit. I'm going to zoom in while I'm doing it. Let's zoom in. See if we can see the inner metal here. So I know there's a billion other tools I could be using for this. Don't get me wrong. I'm just kind of using what's on my desk right now. Uh, you want some music while you wait? Do, 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 do. Music while you wait. Uh, uh, uh. Music while you wait. It's the American Eagle fake music while you wait. Okay, so let me put this away before I cut my finger off. And when we look inside, we see it has that golden color to it, right? So that's actually going to be probably brass or something silly inside there. It's not all silver. You should see nothing but a silver color in there. <sighs> not real, Joe. Not real. Now, he said he also did the ping test. He used an app. There is an app um, out there that you can use to, to actually, I'm going to show you what a ping test is, but you can use that to kind of test silver and other metals because each one has a, has a specific you know, sound that resonates off of it after you hit it. Um, and so we're going to see what this one is too. Um, I guess I could just ping it with this thing. doesn't matter. See, now, if you had the app, it would say, like, hey, that's not 
an American Silver Eagle. And I don't really want to take this one out, my real one, and ping it, but I guarantee it will sound much different. It'll have a sound that resonates kind of like a little bit longer, and it'll have just a different tone completely. Um, I've done this a few times now, and the tone of this one is very very high pitched. It sounds like brass. It doesn't sound good at all. No, it sounds ugly. So yeah, Joe, um, I'm going to destroy all these, but uh, they are a great teaching tool. They have no use in my life other than teaching people. So it's not like I'm going to go try to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. It's going to go to my fake bucket. They're going to be destroyed so they won't trick anybody else. Uh, but unfortunately, even when I destroy these uh, five coins and destroy the slabs, um, China's going to make, you know, a thousand more of these things, you know, tens of thousands of these things. They just flood the market with this junk and it's frustrating for sure. And they're getting better and better all the time at the fakes. Uh, you know, it is what it is. We got to We got to be vigilant and we have to know what to look for. And hopefully videos like this, um, exist out there to where you see them and you kind of save yourself a couple of bucks. So hopefully you looked at this, you kind of see some more things to look out for and, and, uh, you know, is this the end all be all? Is this going to help you determine every single Silver Eagle, whether it's real or fake? Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're going to have to, you know, do some more research, find other things. There's going to be some that are so real, you know, is, are so real looking. I mean, the it's going to be much better looking than this thing right here. And you just got to be, you got to be aware of what, what's going on, what you're doing. Buy from reputable sources. That's the best thing I can tell you for sure. Anyways, um, that's my rant about that. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Hopefully you realize that just because there's a slab coin doesn't mean that it's going to be real. And you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Do your homework. Watch videos like this. Um, if you find fakes, Man, please. I mean, I don't mind you sending them to me for sure. Um, I'll destroy them. I'll get them out of the hobby and I'll teach other people at the same time. Um, appreciate it, Joe. Appreciate you thinking about me. I'll end up just scratching these to death and taking all these uh, apart and, you know, using them for a teaching tool for sure. Uh, that's one benefit we can get out of these fakes is a teaching tool. I'm not trying to get these back into the hobby. That's for sure. Anyways, uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up the video, comment down below. Um, and you know, subscribe if you haven't, I love subscribers, uh, working my way towards 30,000 subscribers. It would be great in 2021 if I could achieve that, uh, with your help. And, uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, man, that's, that's what you gotta do. You gotta subscribe, hit that little bell icon, get the notifications coming right to your mailbox, wherever that, not like your real mailbox, like your internet mailbox, like the World Wide Web style mailbox. I gotta go. Spectacular is out. <laughs>